Hamilton County is declaring war on heroin. This is a, a war that's impacted so many watching right now, and a new plan aims to try and curb the epidemic. Nine on your side, Tom McKee is live with the reasons this new plan is necessary and how it's all going to work. Tom? Well, it's very simple. 177 people were brought here last year to the Hamilton County Coroner's Office dead of heroin overdoses. Now, to try to curb that trend, this action plan was unveiled today, and it gives help to more, more help to police and also expands treatment options. Hamilton County's leaders know that winning the war on heroin will not be easy. This will be tough work. In order to have a real impact on this issue, we'll have to face the ugly side of this epidemic head on. Newtown Police Chief Tom Sinan held up drug paraphernalia, noting that 177 deaths are just the tip of the iceberg. Just in the month of July, there were eight overdose deaths being investigated. And that's not all. But in one week in August, there were approximately 68 heroin-related arrests just in that one week. Just in that month, there were 11 non-fatal overdoses and that's just the ones that we got to report on. The action plan includes an awareness campaign with the website injecthope.com. There's also a big push to make life-saving Narcan available over the counter. Walgreens has done a great job of making this available for families and loved ones in our communities, and I encourage CBS and Kroger, the biggest in our region, to do the same. A detox center is slated for the Justice Center, where half of the 20,000 inmates last year had heroin-related issues. To build out the unit would be 500,000, a half a million, um, I've offered to pay for that out of restricted funds that we have acquired through uh, uh, drug uh, uh, seizures. And more than $5 million will go for treatment of 700 more heroin addicts. It is important to note that, that, that any patient who enters treatment has to understand that the plan for treatment has to include many months to possibly a couple or longer years. Now, success, of course, is going to be measured by reductions in the number of overdoses, heroin deaths, and drug-related crimes. Coming up new on 9 on Your Side at 6, one woman's struggle against opiate addiction and one police chief's quest to win this war. Tom McKean, 9 on Your Side, live, Coryville. All right, Tom, thanks for the details there. And we know many of you at home need help fighting heroin for you or someone in your family. And we are on your side with important resources right now for your family services of the Cincinnati area, Transitions Kentucky, and the Women's Residential Addiction Program are just some of the options out there. And for many more resources, statistics, and what to know about the heroin epidemic right now in the tri-state, just log on to wcpo.com slash heroin. And we always post our most recent coverage so you can keep track of how to get some help.